it has been a minute since i've done any surf fishing the june grass has been horrible this year and it's been a whole lot of days that it's just pretty much unfishable but got some reports this week that it has cleared up a little bit so just drove around found an area that looks clean-ish i don't think it's too bad here at least and the surf is up today as you can see we got some strong southeast winds going on and the spot i'm fishing today here's the bar and right after that bar it's deep i mean it's darker water and to the left of me over here is a point and so I'm hoping the current's moving this way. I'm hoping that if there's any food hanging out in that point area where the waves are breaking before shore, that any of that bait is getting washed into this deeper area. And this is where I'm gonna fish. Hopefully we can get on some pompano today. That is definitely the target species. I love catching summertime pompano. And I just bought an angle cooler. This is the 19 quart. And I have got some go shrimp in there today. We are gonna be using ghost shrimp. That is a primo bait when it comes to summer fishing out here for Pompano. But this angle cooler is sweet. It's got its own bubbler and this is a rechargeable bubbler and there's no moving parts in there. So it, will, it shouldn't rust, it should last a lot longer. And the way they've designed this thing is it goes through the top. So you can actually, you know, latch this cooler shut. And it's not worried about it spilling and the water it's supposed to be airtight because it's got this seal around the edge of it. And that also keeps your bait at the desired temperature you're looking for. And part of the reason I haven't been doing a whole lot of fishing lately, to be honest, is uh, been going through a little bit of creator burnout. I think it's something that happens to everybody and I've just been going through it. Uh, editing these videos takes a lot of time and effort and I've been pretty busy with work. And so when I'm done, working for the day I, I work i work from home so i'm on a computer all day and when i'm done working the last thing i want to do is go sit at another computer in a different room in my house but getting that itch again so back out here and uh, i'm gonna throw it pretty close just right right over the bar there and the current's moving pretty good We're definitely using sputniks today that current if you can sit here and watch that wash it's just it's just moving right along It looks like we already got a fish on there. Yep, that's fish. They are definitely eating it. Let's see what it is. It's probably not very big. It wasn't even able to move the Sputnik. Oh, hey, he's got a little weight to him now. And that is not a good sign. First fish of the day is a catfish. It's not even night out yet. I don't like sitting out here catching catfish. Honestly, surprise, the water's not dirty. It's not dark yet. Like, and it's close. I'm really shocked that these guys are out. All right, well, before I just feed all the catfish, my ghost shrimp, I'm gonna put some shrimp on there and See if we can find a different species. I'm not about catching a bunch of catfish, especially feeding them ghost shrimp. Hoping, hoping it was a fluke. I'm gonna put it about the same zone. Yeah, it looks like I got another catfish over there. I don't get very excited, obviously. I'm gonna throw this one out and then I'll deal with that cat. I'll throw this one further out, hopefully to avoid the catfish. Oh yeah, he's still there. Come on, buddy. I'll get you off. I swear these catfish know they're going to get put right back. Skate him in. Hard head number two. That guy was on there that long and couldn't even manage to eat my shrimp. Poor guy, I didn't even get a meal out of it. Well, I'm a glutton for punishment, so I'm gonna put it back. Well, 
do I stay or do I go? Oh, that's a better fish. It's got some fight. All right, maybe it's not a cat. Good shakes on them. <laughs> I'm gonna be upset if it's a cat. It feels like a whitey. And it's just a feisty catfish, all right. At least that one was a little more exciting for me. Give me some hope. Dang, man. I'm gonna throw this one diagonal and just see if I get anything on that point. Go ahead and cover some water. Maybe, maybe deep's not the way to go. There we go. This is over on that point. Let's see if it's a different species. Hopefully it is. There's some grass over there though. It ain't bad, but there's grass. Be something better than a catfish. I'll take a blue runner, ladyfish. I don't care. Just not a catfish. Don't feel very promising. Hard head number four. I think I'm actually gonna move down this way a little bit. Hopscotch my way down that way, and if I keep catching catfish, I'm going home. Look at this beach ball. It got washed in out of nowhere. Who knows how far out that was? It got south winds, it carried it right back in. To get it off out of the water. <laughs> it didn't even have to, look at the wind blew it. Nice. It probably crossed the road if I let it. Let's get it off the beach though. There we go, trash off the beach. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, there we go. Got a little break from the kitties. Oh, I saw a jump. I doubt that's a cat. <laughs> oh, yeah, there we go. He's jumping, going crazy. Probably a ladyfish, but that's okay. I'd rather catch ladyfish than hardheads. That's pretty funny to get excited about a ladyfish. There he is. I need to get a rod set up for cut bait. I've been, I got everything set up for pompano. And I ought to be cutting these ladyfish up and throwing them out for redfish. And honestly, I might just do that. Cause uh, it's a trash fish kind of day. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this guy. Go ahead and cut some chunks, put them on a bigger circle hook. See if we can find a redfish, or blue fish, something better. Let's get a chunk of this ladyfish. There we go. Nice big piece. I'm just going to get this right past the bar. There we go. Perfect. Hopefully a red or blue fish cruises through. Smell some nice piece of ladyfish. Everyone likes eating ladies. I'm gonna bait check this one. It's been out a minute. And I put my other nine foot rod out and uh, hope the bite picks up for sunset. I'm, I'm very happy I'm not catching cats anymore. So obviously I was in a decent spot to fish. It's just the wrong species in it. Yeah, I'm fishing on credit on this one. So let's get a couple more ghost shrimp out there before the day's over and see what happens. Looks like something's playing with that cut bait. Oh yeah, that line slack. Something picked it up. Oh, he bit me right off too. No, no, wait, wait, wait. There he is, yes. Yes, fish. <laughs> awesome. Oh, that was such an improv rig too. I'll show it to you after I catch this fish. Oh man, come on, let's see what we got. That's what I'm talking about, man. That ain't no catfish. That was quick.
All right, what is it? What is it? Here he comes. Right there in the wash. Looks like a blue. Nice. Oh, he came off. Yes, I still got him. Oh, nice blue fish. He bit me off right at the end. And yes, I laid my rod right in the sand. That's what you do when you want to grab a fish. Nice size blue, good fatty right there. And that was real quick. You can see the hook still in his mouth. I'm not gonna reach in there and lose my finger, but yeah, they got some serious teeth. Can't really see it right now, but they will chomp down and they won't let go. Awesome catch. I mean, that wasn't five, 10 minutes. I baited up my other two rods, threw them back out. This guy found that bait. So let me tie another rig on, show you that improv rig and see if we can get another blue. All right, I'm gonna use this hook again too. I mean, it's still good. <laughs> what I had done with that rig is I didn't even change my mortician rig. I mean, as you can see, I still have my hooks up here. The, the snoots connected, both of them. I got the other one up there with a fish bite on it. And I just tied on that that leader right to the snap swivel where my Sputnik's connected. And it got the job done, man. You gotta improvise. All right, I'm gonna bump that up to 40 pound. I believe I had 30 on there. All right, let me tie another one on. Got another one rigged up, 40 pound. I use the uni knot as my snug knot. And I actually snail the hook, done a lot of research and there's actually an improved hookup ratio when using snails versus a regular snug knot. So that's why I do it. All right, let's get another chunk of lady. I told you everything likes eating ladies. And I don't overthink it. I just go through the meat, under the spine, out the top. And that seems to hold pretty good for me. All right, send it. Oh, I see something jumping out there already. Oh man, I threw it right into some bait. I might get hooked up quick. I'm gonna go ahead and tie on an ES lure. See if I can catch one on a lure, that'd be sweet. I got a paddle tail tied on, but I can't throw it quite far enough in these uh, south winds and these ES lures will go. Oh, 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 there we go. Yes, another one on the cut bait. That was quick. I didn't even get a chance to tie on that lure. I guarantee it. I get that, that ES lure out there. I'll be catching blues on it too. You can see the bait out there. It's just going nuts in the surface. This is a good one. Oh yeah, nice big blue. Guarantee it. I'm crossed up. Yeah, I'm all I'm all wrapped around it. Nothing I can do about it. Oh man, those birds are going nuts for that bait. I need to get that ES lure tied on. Come on, buddy. It's a good fish. Hopefully that leader lasts. Just keep pressure on him. He should get in. Yeah, another big blue. Sweet. Yeah, those blues are out there going nuts for that bait. That's a good one. He's probably 16, 18 inches long. Get this guy back real quick. Get another chunk out there. Come on, buddy. There he goes. Kicked off good. That bluefish didn't even get to eat the chunks. I'm going to use the same chunk. It was just laying there in the sand. Just picked it up. Right in the bait. All right, I'm going to reel this one in. It got tangled up. And uh, I think I'm pretty much done with the ghost shrimp. I got a couple rods still out. You know what? There might be a fish on here. I think there is. Yeah, there's a fish on it. Oh, it's a kitty. That little cat. Who knows how long that guy's been out there. That's why my line got tangled. He had swim sideways somewhere. See you, buddy. You watch. I'll throw this lure out and one of these rods will go off. Ah! 
Look at that, look at that. Oh, I didn't even get my lure back. The rod already went off, and that's my cut bait rod. Oh, I can't leave that out there with the current. It's gonna get tangled up. Oh, he didn't get it. All right. Let's make do a little bait check real quick. Yeah, he got my bait. All right. Okay, good. My hook's still there. I thought he bit me off for a second. And I cut my bait in the sand because I don't like getting blood and crud all over my cart or cooler. And I believe this is a four-aught owner hook. I just threw both those rods back out. Yeah, that's how it tangled up. Something's eating on it. Come on, take it. I was beginning to think maybe my bait fell off, but I guess there's just no more blues eating ladyfish right now. I hadn't seen that bait that was out there, so maybe the blues moved on. But I'm still gonna try. I ain't gonna give up yet. Yeah, that line slack there's a fish on it let me catch yeah oh yeah oh yeah there's a fish on it let's get this back out there and then i'll deal with that oh dang he's starting to hit i just threw this back out go shrimp on it i've been fishing on credit on this rod for who knows how long that's a fight to him Come on, yeah. Really hoping it's a pond. Actually, I think I just tangled up. What is it? It's a ladyfish. And I found my, ladyfish found my ladyfish. <laughs> yeah. He just happened to snag my cut bait. Oh man, I think I got all my rods tangled up. This is just a huge mess, man. I got line all up in the ladyfish's mouth. Like this is bad. Well, there's the tangled mess that's left. So I just cut it. I wasn't about to deal with it. It was bad. So fishing's basically over. I got this one rod right here and my other three rods are down. I had tangled two of them together, cut them both. Felt great to get back out there on the beach. It had been way too long, but man, I just, I needed a break. Honestly, it felt really good to just take a month off from creating content because I was getting to the point where I wasn't enjoying it and that's not good. You want to enjoy what you're doing. I think that goes with anything. If you get to a point where you're just burnt out, tired of doing it, it's best to just take a break, get back into it, and you'll just, you'll feel it be even better starting it up than you did before. And that, that's where I was at. So don't worry, I'm still gonna keep making videos. I do enjoy making these videos. I like helping people learn how to surf fish or just the entertainment purposes of it. I mean, I getting messages that I helped someone catch a pompano feels great. So I wanna keep doing that, putting the knowledge out there, helping people get on the fish when they're in the area or just move to the area and give them some confidence and entertainment whatever you guys are here for i'm gonna keep doing it hope you all enjoyed this video and until next time take care and tie lines